And welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here again within the Cursed Estate and I have prepared ourselves a team to head out ready to go. We're going to be going with Orwell, Delmar, Bagman and our new class, the Botanist. A new healer that is based around blighting as well as obviously healing and I think it could be an interesting one. We're going to go out to the curve mainly because we currently have um, the extra curve XP. So I'm thinking level up some of our level ones. Um, which is a little risky, but these two are also low level two, so I thought bring these two out as well. But basically, my ideal sort of strategy here is the use of um, the incantation here plus the use of um, our sanitize is going to give us insane resists. We get blight, bleed, um, disease resist from both of these. So really, really high resists, which is really, really nice. Um, and then Beatrice can um, put some blight out do some bonks, which I, I just love the fact that, that skill's called bonk. And then we have Bagman stacked with damage to uh, to put out some real heavy hits here and hopefully do some interesting stuff. So we'll see how that goes. I've also got kind of an interesting thing going on with Orwell here. He's got the bloody scalpel, which means that he always gets bled on hit, but he gets a massive boost to his dodge while he's bleeding. So I'm kind of interested with that. But anyways, let's get into uh, our backstory for Beatrice Arbor. This is a backstory by Dragonlord. And yeah, I really, really like this one. Just a little bit of context to this backstory before we get into it. We beat the hag last week. The uh, the first boss from the uh, wield, I believe it is. And we actually picked Beatrice up off of the back of beating the hag, and that ties into her backstory, so let's get into it. It's a really, really good one. I really, really like it. So yeah, let's jump straight into it. As a very young girl, Beatrice always loved plants and flowers, as well as helping people. She and her parents lived in a town of the darkest estate, and one day she, ha um, she and her parents went to have a picnic, but that lovely day was soon to turn dark. A horde of animals came and massacred the young girl's parents, who urged her to run for her life. Her mum and dad um, fighting off the animals as best they could. Not sure how long she'd been running, but the young girl eventually ran into a woman. This woman saved the young girl's life and raised her as her own, becoming like a second mother and a mentor. This woman, uh, woman also loved plants, and she knew how to brew. Um, she knew how to brew to use plants to make medicines. However, over time, the woman who was once very kind and lovely became haggard, bitter, and angry, and twisted. She was corrupted by the darkness of the estate. The home became a prison and her mentor a monster of who she once was. It was not until four brave adventurers came that she finally found a little light of hope, a beacon in the darkness after so long. She returned to the darkest estate, intent on using her skills and knowledge to try and cure the land that had become so dark and twisted, but took her parents and her beloved teacher. I, I think this is... Just a master level backstory. I Like, all the backstories we get recently have been very, very good. But the, I absolutely love that it gives some deeper lore on the hag. As well as actually having this character be raised by her when she was sound of mind. And when she was actually a nice person. And over time, darkness corrupted her and grew her into the hag we know. Um, and after being killed by the previous adventurers, she uh, she's sort of come back with them. So whoever it was that went out last time, I think it was uh, Chaos, Hestia, um, Basilla, I think maybe. I can't remember exactly who it was now, but they, I, I'm sure she's going to have a rather tight bond with those people from now on. But anyways, let's jump out into the curve. We're going to be going for a level two mission um, and I'm going for the Medic's Greaves with the extra Arbalist healing. I really like the idea of that. And we've also got the um, Dwim Dwimalakia, I don't know exactly how to pronounce that, as a, as a roaming boss. So we'll just have to see how that goes. But I'm reasonably well prepared here. Let's grab some provisions and we'll get into some diary entries because we've got quite a few today. So we are going into the curve um, and we're going to be taking 20 food. We're going to be taking four of those, two of those, four of those... Four of those, two of those, actually three of those, two of those, and we'll take 14 torches. Do need to be careful my money. I also need to start upgrading to level up my level three characters. At the minute, money is definitely our biggest struggle. It's kind of an ongoing battle. But, but let's uh, embark onto our next journey here. 
and see how we can do. Of course, like I said, we'll get into a backstory here. So from Rokerim, we've got a ruckus from the inn. Another sets of cheers as the town celebrates another fallen leader of the darkness. Drinks, food, and fun flow plentifully for the heroes. The chaos sits quietly, not drunk, simply staring at his bowl of wine. The smell. The smell. The wine ripples before his eyes, no longer sitting in the, ch um, in the chilly evening and merry cries of the inn. Warm sands between his toes, the scorching heat above his head, the roar of a blood-hungry arena, and the begging of a bleeding man. Some celebration, never cared which one, and a burning brazier in the centre. The thundering crowd cries in malicious unison, burn, 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 drowning out the man's cries for mercy, a crooked smile, one moment. Apologies for that random interruption, I got a phone call right in the middle of this, let's get back to this. Um, where were we? Um, the thundering crowd cries in malicious unison, burn, 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 drown, uh, drowning out the man's cries for mercy. A crooked smile across his own lips, a small voice screaming in the back of his head to stop, but ignored, as he easily lifts him up into the brazier. The man flails in the flames, the crowd cheers and laughs, though, um, though he just stares, the screams, those eyes, and the smell. He swipes out, um, he swipes out of reflex when he feels a hand on him. Kimber is yanking him back by, uh, yanked back by Hex, uh, Hestia. Startled by the fact um, many hours have passed, sitting in the bar is only the three. Chaos, Kimber says quietly, as Hestia sits next to him and plops on a chair, a firm slap on his shoulder. Speak your demons, and we slay them together, brother. Stunned, he stumbles, stumbles the word brother, br brother. Hestia smiles, we fight together. Kimber finishes the sentiment. He looks at both of them and exhales as if dropping a boulder from his shoulders and begins to tell of how the hag's uh, cooking returned him to something hidden deep, feeling something he hasn't felt possibly ever. Trust. Amazing stuff there. Amazing stuff. Really, really like that. Yeah, really, really good stuff. I can't say anything more than just I'm always surprised by how well people write for these characters. It, it's... Scrupulous it's hands. it's showing how much people are really mind that such Delmar, are the exception you're supposed to be the guy that's good at this stuff come on now <laughs> damn it but yeah you can tell that everyone sort of cares about their characters um hey, you get the resistance heightened everyone cares about their characters so much because they're just writing you can you can Hear the passion in, in it. I love it. We find victory. But yeah, let's see how we do here. We're gathering three of the ancestors' relics, which means we need a, an open inventory slot for that. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna grab this. Get some more food. Actually, that isn't food, but that is quite a lot of extra money stuff. So I like that. Hey, one thing that's kind of interesting here. So we get the surprise, which is very, very nice. But one thing that's really interesting here is that we can um, we can break repost here. Look. No repost for you. <laughs> That's so, so good. But yeah, look at this. <laughs> look at this guy's resists. Oh my lord. Look at his resists. That's amazing. That is absolutely awesome. Uh, so we'll progress his state. And we'll uh, we'll just go for a swing on you. Very big damage by Bagman there. Awesome. Love to hear it. But yeah, I, I I love the fact that we can break repose. That's the first I've ever seen of that, and yeah, I really I really enjoy that. Weighted anchor. That's not so bad. We could get hit by Tain, but let's hope not. Um, we also have a, a kind of a bonus here in that we get stun skill chance and damage versus blighted. So that actually pairs really well with Beatrice here. I didn't even notice that upon selecting this quest, but it's really good to know. He did resist the stun, but we did a lot of damage to him. Unfortunately, Taint comes in here, but the dodge is pretty impressive. There's a hit. So we can go with a cure here, and that gives him eight points of resistance. So it's eight heal, but it comes on the next round. But yeah, we're going to be resisting pretty much everything here. Um, let's debuff accuracy, speed, and dodge on these guys. And then obviously buff our crits against them too. Damn. He's got a stun, though, out of that. Um, this is kind of interesting. 
So, let me just pop this on you. That heals for three. It also gives you 25% prop for five rounds. Wow. Is this like a... Okay, it is a use pair battle thing. You only get two, but five rounds of 25% pro is kind of incredible. That's it's pretty nutty. As the Hit. fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Beautiful stuff. I probably should have used execute there for the the the, uh, the kill and the stress relief. Would have been a good idea. Didn't really think about it. Get rid of that body. Nice one, Delmar. At this point, this should get a stun. Nice one. Also, more debuffs on him. We'll go for this, and that's going to apply. Six over three, that's pretty good. And then 20, okay. Really good combos here. I think this is a crew that we can, we can surely say is quite impressive. And driven into the mud. Got some of this here as well. Sack is empty, unfortunately. The way is lit. And I think her venturing out into the curve straight the after having been stuck in the wheel with the hag for so long. Probably quite a different experience for her. And hopefully she likes it. I mean she's she's sort of committed herself to helping others now and using her powers for good, so I'm hoping that this crew, especially I think her and Delmar might get on quite in uh, quite well. They both sort of have that affiliation with the uh, sort of I, I, I don't know I wouldn't really say Delmar's into the sort of herbistry is herbistry a word but I, I, maybe he isn't into that so much but he at least knows of the world I guess oh we got one of these um, treasurers here interesting I'm gonna try yes I get a stun on this guy that basically guarantees a kill here in fact just go for the kill surges as the enemy crumbles Go for this. Uh, I'm gonna go for a purse here. It's only one round of repurse, I think, but it helps. You see, look at that. That's where. That's why I went for it because of these guys having AOE and the damage output on this guy is just incredible. So now he's bleeding, but that doesn't really matter for us. Let's just minus his damage a little bit. Minus his crits. He gets crits received as well. Um, let's just put some heal on ourselves here. We probably want to be using the root infusion early on as much as possible. Stun isn't super likely, but the damage is good regardless. A little bit of extra on there. Below 25%. Unfortunately, it's not below 25% at the moment. Let's go for a hit. Wow. Bagman is kind of going crazy right now. Wow, we have... We don't have a lot of space here, do we? <laughs> uh, we'll get rid of the hair because we've already got one of those. We'll take the money in lieu of that. Um, Beggar Shroud, I, I don't really know how valuable that is for us. Um, I'm going to take these. Yeah, I'm going to leave the Beggar the beggar's Shroud. I just, It's an okay trinket and we could sell it for a bit, I guess, but it's not exactly what I need right now. Oh, we got some uh, enemies that are going to be good for blighting. Good, good. Use this. These guys are going to try and blight us, so getting all these resists is going to be very, very useful. Um, so, what we could do is put the prot on you. It heals you up to full. It also stealths? What? Okay. Okay. Progress my combat state. Can we get a kill here? We technically can get a kill here, but I'm going to go for it. Unfortunately, it didn't pay off. Um... Use that. And just, yeah, 58% on all of those. That's absolutely incredible. This is such a good party for uh, anything that applies a lot of debuffs. It's going to have to remember this. Because these two just pair so damn well together. I mean, it's so funny, like, the juxtaposition between the two classes in terms of their sanity. Like, Delmar is obviously suffering from the toxins, but he's pretty sane, I think reasonably sane, at least as I see it. Um, but then the Hexer, I mean, look at him. <laughs> There's not an ounce of sanity left Their in that cloak. <laughs> Maintain the offensive. Like, wow. For that. You're gonna keep doing your guard. 
Um, let's go for a kill on you. Good stuff. I love the fact that we get stealth there. That's really, really nice. Can we... I've got a question here. Can we use this twice on one person? Because you've got 25% prop. You can. Okay, that is kind of nutty. I think I need to go for the heal here. We're suffering a little bit. Go for that once more. There's that crit. Although we did get crit back, which isn't great for the stress. Kind of an interesting thing there. We gained stress and lost it. Um, whoa, ho, bagman. Look at the buff list on this man right now. Excuse me. Excuse me. Let's get a heal on you as well. Maybe we can get an extra heal in here. Let's detain you. I think we can get an extra heal here. I'm hoping he doesn't hit me, but I'll put the repair stuff. Okay, he didn't. Good. No, no resists. Although the debuff did play their pay off for you there, which is surprising. There you go. Unfortunately, I don't actually think this trinket affects affects applied um, restoration. I'm not 100% sure, but I, I'm pretty sure it doesn't affect it. It affects it, which is slightly upsetting. Continually there you go. Execute for the Destroy stress heal across the board them. there. Get a key in there as well. Great stuff so far. Curia, Curia. Who's got the good trap to have? I mean, it should be Delmar, right? We do have a bass relief here. Um, I will trade... I don't know. This is tricky. I think I'm going to leave the portrait, honestly. I know I need them, but... Um, I'm going to try this with you. It's a bit risky. Ah, bollocks. Um... Less accuracy and dodge if Laudanum's not in the inventory. That's not great. 90. Okay, we've got 100 here. Great stuff. Had to try. The Bash Relief things can give you some good stuff. But, unfortunately, not this time around. We get some more scouting. Lovely. Quest location here. We've got two quest locations back to back there. We've got a battle right here. Battles in this level of uh, dungeons have been fairly easy. We're not coming across any of the super hard enemies yet. Um, I think we just go for uh, one of those, the herbicide. That kills you next turn. Let's get our resistances going. Not that we need resistances in every battle. I realize it might be wasting a few turns to do that all the time. But I feel like it's still somewhat useful. Just Bagman is is absolutely a powerhouse right now. Truly. His his slight insanity, I think, is working in his favor of giving absolutely zero Fs. <laughs> really. Uh, we'll remove that repose from you. Just that's just a super cool ability. And you do have some prop, so I think we'll remove some of that prop. And we'll go for the stun on you as well. Beautiful stuff. Yeah, we've really got a very good crew to put together here. Um, do that. It's another stun right off the bat. Wow. And we'll kill you with that. Wow, well, well done. Oh, well. I guess we'll get some blight on you. There you go. Another trinket we don't really need there. Triumphant pride precipitates a little bit of extra loot. Fall. Trample journal, we don't need that for now. We make our own story. I'm gonna ignore that for now, just because there's there's better there's better curios to use medical herbs on. There really is. The light, the promise of safety. Okay, this is our first kind of tricky battle here. Especially with the stress waves coming in. We've managed to Manage our stress pretty effectively thus far. 
but that can't last forever. We've got bleed on these guys, so we want to get our uh, resists up as high as possible. And we'll also buff our... Um, so you're on a 33 HP, you're on 41, you're on 33. Okay, so let's, put, let's just put that at you for now. The stealth is really nice too. You refuse that buff, unfortunately, which is strange. I'm not quite sure what you have that does that. Oh, reviews allied buffs. Okay, uninspired. That's fine. Wind up. And I think I'm just going to go for the big boys. Try and work those guys down. No bleed for us, thank you. No bleed for us. Stress waves are coming in, though. We're already taking care of that guy as soon as we can. Go for that dude. Get a stun on him. That. Definitely want to lower damage and prot here. Lowering a prot is very, very good. I'm going to go for a post here. I realize I'm currently stealth, so that does nothing. But I'm going to say the stealth ends that turn. Haha, -ha, it's impossible to bleed me. 19 on the repost. That is obscenely strong. Although he did just get healed. I'm not particularly happy about. Go with that again. I just want to see if he gets... Yeah, 50 prot for five rounds. That's actually crazy that you can do that. Your prot's down, your crits receives up. It's good stuff. You keep going for Beatrice here, but it's not its not working out for you, is it, guys? It's really not. This, this has got a stun on it too, but we got a crit and killed him anyways, so it doesn't matter. You say decimated and you are correct. The only problem we have, really, is that our backline damage is not great. So the stress waves are coming in hot and fast with a little way of escaping. It will bonk you, though, to stop you from causing further issues. We are getting extra damage during this quest as well. I've got to remember that. Up to 24. All of your prot is now gone. And there's another crit. Honestly, all he can do is crit. All he does is crit, 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 no matter what. It's kind of incredible. And then Hexes, Hexes kind of, I, I, I think Hexes a really interesting class because in actuality, he does nothing. Like he doesn't do any damage, really. He doesn't really help the team act like sort of directly, but the debuffs he can apply are just so valuable that he just kind of sits in the back line and, and debuffs and debuffs and debuffs. All right, so we've got two quest things here. Uh, so, in terms of what we might want to throw away, at this point, I guess bandages. I know I've got quite a lot of them, so it's not ideal. But I think it's the only thing we can get rid of that makes sense right now. Do we have a battle here as well? We don't. Okay. And then... Quest location, last one's there. Also, camping-wise, what, what do we have here? Um, no prevent nighttime ambush. Oh, that's a Prevent Nights of Ambush there. That's a really, really good Prevent Nights of Ambush as well, actually. And what does our Hexer do? We've got some removed disease in this party as well, which is rather nice. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Stashed heirlooms. Unfortunately, portraits just aren't the cards for us right now. I hate to leave them because they are valuable to take. But at the minute, we're, we're kind of struggling for money. And so I want to make sure we get that money when we can. A handsome reward. Deeds. For a task well performed. Also gonna have to leave. Seems it seems a waste, I know. We're really in the market for just as much money as we can get our grubby little hands on right now. Right, torture. Oh, hello. Benthic Deccans. What on earth is this? So definitely want to buff my resists up here because I, I genuinely just have no idea what uh, what to expect from this guy. But well, he seems to be some sort of mini boss. Um, his stun's pretty high. I guess we'll just um, pop our our um, prop on people. So the resists are certainly going to be nice here. Um, good damage. 
Park. That's a lot of horror. It's not actually a very strong horror, though, which is nice. Um, and then I want to put that on you as well. So we both have the, uh, the the massively increased prot now. It's not for super long, mind you. This is pretty good. Um, we can minus his speed and his damage for a while if it procs, which it didn't. Damn it. It's really a shame because it, it disables the skill um, for quite a few rounds, three rounds, if you miss it. But this could stun him. It did. Very nice. He does have two actions, so it's not going to mean too much. And then this guy does have a bit of prot, so we'll try and remove some of that. And then up that uh, crits received chance. The lamplight. That's going to be a stun. Okay. Unfortunately, not really the, the character we'd want to see getting stunned, but it is what it is. I'm just going to move back there. We don't need to heal anyone at the moment. Keep going with that. Malform's got a lot of extra crit on it right now. Fishhook's probably going to pull us forward, right? It did try to. The resists. Wow. Impressive right now. Lamplight's going to push us back again, potentially. But again, we resist it. But we do get the stun, unfortunately. Let's go with the trap. I know, unfortunately, we do have repost failure on this guy. Um, which does lower our repost's abilities, but it's still a useful repost. We'll go for the stun here. I was really hoping that would crit, um, because we had so much bonus crit on Malform, but sadly not. Sadly not. This has 35% armor piercing right now, so let's just hit him. Whoa, what the shit? I was not expecting that. The Abyssal Nash. There's a good repost. Wow. And it stunned him as well. Awesome. Okay. Was not expecting this at all. We did land that buff minus uh, the damage to him there, which is awesome. And he's stunned as well. Yeah, was not expecting this. This is a very cool mini boss right here. Very cool indeed. Uh, let's progress our state one more. You do have... Now, you do, you do have the resist, but I still think we progress it regardless. And get to the stun chance just... Just in case. Precision. Wow. Power. Big damage. Deep sea lure. That's a mark. And the bleed from his ability. Double restoration on you. Now form. There's the stun again. Lovely. We have a really good group for stunning people, to be honest. But we'll let, let our trap go as well there. That minus damage as well, 50% is huge. Let me finish him off there. Victory. Perhaps the Unfortunately, time. like, not a whole lot gained from that. And by not a whole lot, I mean, unfortunately, quite literally nothing. Uh, which is a real shame. But that was a really cool fight nonetheless. I really thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, would, would you like to gamble again, my lad? Would you like to gamble again? Of course you would. Damn it. <laughs> Obsessed with cleanliness. Doesn't really fit his personality so well, but he is a little bit deranged. Maybe he has split personality disorder. Spirits are lifted and purpose is made clear. Alright, we'll continue adventuring because we've got a good few rooms to go here, and I'm uh I think this crew is doing really well right now. Um and trying to get a little bit more money, being a bit greedy. Being a bit overconfident. It could pay off. We'll see. We'll see. Match is we'll bonk you to a try and stun you out. Stress minus five on that's very nice. Um, do debuff off the bat here because we don't really need to use, use the uh, incantation. And we'll go with a repurse set up. What's that noise it makes? Like the heartbeat. Kind of intense. Unfortunately, they've gone for a healer instead. Twice. Why? Why would you do that to me? It's okay, though. We'll stomp you out and get you stunned. Oh, really? No, not again. Okay, thank you for dodging. That was about to be rather unfortunate. Lowering that accuracy even more. 
And that's a kill right there. That repurse is just obscenely strong. Another crit. The crits are coming fast and loose. Another heal for myself. Unfortunately, no repurse left for this. The stress wave is just going to be what it is. But this should kill. There you go. We got Leper. 20% healing received isn't super useful. It's annoying to leave so many trinkets, but I'm okay with it. I was kind of lucky. Another hunger check. We'll decide at the end of here if we want to camp or not. We do have a prevent item, I'm sure we probably will. Bonk you. Very, very good crit there. And a nice stun. Um, yeah, we, we want our resistances here because this guy can bleed us, so can this guy. No one's taking any bleed here. Oh, on crit, she gets restoration amount applied. Nice. We want to be lowering the um, prot as much as possible here. Honestly, let's just go for a burst again. Even just getting one reverse kill would be quite, quite nice here. We'll get a stun on you. Nice, nice. Let's lower that prop. Lower that prop somewhat. Why do they always go for you? Beatrice, you are getting beat up right now, but at least you resist the ad lead there. A little bit more stress coming our way. Bonk you just to try and break that guard. There you go. And that's a very near kill there, damn it. Very near. I'm gonna stomp you out to get you killed. Eldritch pull shouldn't pay off. Nope. Got that resist there. Let's get some blight on you. Such a high ability to reduce their damage. Because we can reduce it with a collar and reduce it with uh, the debuff. It's kind of crazy. No bleed for me, thank you. Again with the pull. It's not going to work. This, this group is just a titan. Yeah, 12. I mean, you're dead, literally. Next round. Trap isn't going to do much here, I don't think. But I'll put it on you anyways. Move you up one. Beautiful crit there. Wow. Well done, Orwell. Greatest Beautiful stuff. Cuts on its own. Could start another money stack here. I'll take a risk and throw away the herbs. Good stuff. I've got one more battle over here. Let's give it a go. I think these guys are more than well prepared enough to take this on. We do have a madman, unfortunately, which is going to get to go first. He didn't, actually. Surprising. Doomsday is, of course, always a bit rough. We'll hope to just get some crits here and uh, make up for that. Let's remove your repurst. I love being able to take the repurst off the sea slater. It makes that enemy so much more manageable. Again, going for Beatrice here. I don't understand the obsession. But you do you, I guess. Good kill. I'm just go for the stun here. That's a good crit as well. Lovely. Um, let's go for a stun here. What? 10% and he resisted. Damn, that was very unlucky. A lot of extra stress unnecessary to take there. Go for that bonk. Need to get a bit higher damage output here. We're at 47 pro even with those debuffs. How? Very annoying. It's going to be a slightly lengthy bit of combat here. And of course you get the horror as well. I should kill you. 
Yes, it does. Good, good. Right, this this needs to actually hit this time. Come on. There you go. Guaranteed crit on that guy. Just for the stress relief. Wow, you have a lot of prop right now. Oh no, just 22%. Okay. Don't be guarding, goddamn. I just didn't do a lot of damage, sadly. Okay, now Bagman can finish both of these off with a crit. Don't deal damage with anyone else. Execute guaranteed crit. And don't know what's going to happen with this guy. I hope he doesn't get another turn. We will see. Ah, bugger. I was hoping that wouldn't happen, but... A little bit ambitious, really. Bagman, finish this off. Come on, my boy. There you go. Another crit there. He just crit, crits, crits all the time. That's all he does. Right, good stuff. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Let's dig this up. And then we'll camp... Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. And we want to use this to prevent nighttime nice ambush. Stress heal. And then. I don't think anything else matters, to be honest. I think we're good. Good stuff. Let's get into a die range before we end off this quest. And we will go from there. So we have a song. This is by Penn Simmons. Um, song heard in between tears from Renetta's room. Sung, sung. Sun brings peace. Peace to the night. Night full of hunger. Hunger of the beasts. Beasts of the land. Land of the men. Men who come to take. Taken by the sun. Sun brings me peace. Peace to face the day. Day of war and longing, longing for the past. Past tainted by the blood, blood of loss and pain. Pain I cannot shake, shaken by the day. Sun brings me peace, peace of heart and peace of mind. Mind is haunted by the beasts, beasts who took my kin. Kin who now only exist in dreams, dreams that turn to fright, frightened by the past, past like shadows in my soul. Soul survivor of the blade. Blade now turned uh, severe the sun. Wow. Good stuff. Really, really liking this. I like the idea of these poems and, and songs that people are writing often as well. They add a lot to the uh, to the storytelling aspects. Right, so hopefully we got a good amount of money there. We got Beatrice and Delmar straight up to level 3. That's rather nice. Um, Bagman is very close, as is Orwell. I like to see that. We'll see what we can do this week. Free weapon upgrade. Of uh, it's no longer hopeless. Good. Disease cured. Rabies. Good. Um, let's quickly unequip our trinkets and sort by class. And then let's check what we've got for sale here. Plus 33 accuracy after the first round. That is obscenely good. <laughs> um... Yeah, that's, that's, that's crazy good. But it's not something we can afford right now. Is there anyone we want to bring on here? Um, don't think so, no. Uh, there's a Keeper and a Grave Robber, but they're not two classes that I'm super interested in right now. Let's quickly check where we want to go next. Um, we got the Sodden Crew. Let's let's have a look at what our, um, what our quests reward us with. We still need to go into... Uh, into the courtyard at some point, but I'm still a little ways off of being quite so ready for that, I'll be honest. Duelist. Damage reflection and damage received. It's kind of interesting, but that is a that is a level three. Don't really want to go for level threes yet. We've got the Guardian Angel. Extra prop, max HP, and a lot of extra stuff at Death's Door. 
Kind of interesting. Plus 20 dollars, that's pretty good. And we've got this here as well. Um, that's pretty good. And then extra damage. Damage while bleeding. Oh, wow. That is pretty good too. It is a level 3 mission though. And I really have no idea what to expect when fighting the Ringmaster. So it could go pretty terribly. But we do have a bunch of level 3s. The only thing is we uh, we need to level up this first. So let's, let's actually do that now. Let's go level up that. And can we level up these two? How far are we off that? We're actually quite far off of that at the moment. Um, so we need 35 of those. So let's go... That's 36 of them. And then we need 32. Wait, let's do portraits first. Seven portraits for nine of them. So we need 32 of them. And then... We got 24. Okay, that does it. Good, good, good. Okay. The We're all ranked up there. Every plan relies upon a strong arm good, good, good. Tempered steel. Honestly, I think our biggest worry right now is just, yeah, money is in a bad spot. We've still got a lot of level 2s to level up. We don't have any level 1s now, which is really, really nice to see. Um... But yeah, let's let's take a look at what quest we want to end off the episode with here. Um, we got another medium. We got a short here, which is obviously not a particularly good mission to go on, but it might be a decent one just to get out there a little more. I want to go to the wheel and level it up a little more, but for some reason there's only a level four mission available, which is slightly odd. Um, our mission availability here isn't great. I think we'll take the short one here and we'll. Um, We'll just go for people that are close to leveling up, shall we? Uh, let's have a little look. So let's sort by level. Let's get rid of you guys first. Sort by level. And we'll take Liz. We'll take Hestia. Put you in front, actually. We'll take Helen. And we'll take... This is tricky. Because I... I'm actually at a point now where I, I don't really want to, um, I don't really want to level up any healers right now, because I think that would be a bad idea. Um, I guess Thanatos is, is kind of an off healer. He works from that position as well. And then I think what we do here is uh, we, we just give ourselves some potions. So let's go in with this crew. Uh, I should probably trinket them first, shouldn't I? Um, right, let's just check for class trinkets first. You've got this one. Eh, we don't really care about that. Okay, so you can take the healing syringe. You can take the uh, the damage combo. Good stuff. Blaze, you can take that. And you can take that. You've got the healing. And then I'll give you max HP as well. And then... Oh, I don't really know what to go for with yourself. Um, let's go with it. a bit of extra HP. And a disease resist, maybe? Seems good enough. Okay. We've got these guys ready. Just before we go, do we want to... Um, do we want to... Take anyone and, like, remove diseases or anything like that? Or remove quirks? Bagman, you were, you were taking on quite a lot recently. What what have you got on you that might want to get rid of? Loudenum. We'll maybe get rid of that one. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Uh, let's just quickly check our levels of these guys. You, you go, you're going for boom, 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 and boom. And... Hey, one of those is free. Lovely. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Right, let's embark. Let's get ready to go. Let's get our provisions ready. It's only a short mission, so it shouldn't take us too long. But I think what we'll do here is we'll buy four of these as a little bit of extra sort of off healing in case things go a little little askew, considering we don't have any, like, direct healing, really. We just have an off healer. 
Um, we're going into the curves. We'll take 12 food. Three of those. One, two, 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 one, and nine. I don't know why I'm going with nine. No, I'll go with eight. Um, cool. We'll embark and we'll get into another diary entry here because we do have a few more to go through. So, first of all, we have another one from Penn Simmons for, from Kimber's Diary. Milk of the poppy for the pain. Um, chameleon and passion flower in rum to help me sleep. I still hear... I said chameleon. It says chamomile. Um, <laughs> chamomile and passion flower in rum to help me sleep. I still hear the boiling water of the hag's pot. The pain is um, elevated. But the nightmare alleviating, sorry, but the nightmares will take some time. I decided that I would join Hestia and Chaos at the tavern since sleep isn't coming easy. I still can't get Renetta to take medicine to help her sleep, and the sorrow um sorrow lance songs coming from her room aren't helping me either. I would not have thought that my closest friends in this estate are the beast that is Chaos and a warrior Hestia, but I suppose it makes sense. I have chosen to be a healer in a time of war, and Chaos and Hestia are heroes in this time of war, though I think it is taking Chaos lo uh, longer than most to accept the title. They actually listen to me and respect my skills, and uh, I would be soup without their help. So now this wandering medic is drinking with a gladiator and a battle-hardened warrior. What would you have thought of me now, Master Matthew? You had always pushed me away from the conflicts of the upper class and wanted me to heal the common folk. There's nothing more common about these people I keep now. But even Basilla herself, the heir to everything here, could not be called upper class. I think you would appreciate what I'm doing today. Though, your loss, um, though you lost your life trying to save my village from being overtaken by monsters, you trained me to treat illness in secret. Now I'm banishing wounds of those beheading collectors, necromancers and hags. I could use your wisdom now. However, how does one heal illness in their own mind without losing it themselves? Forever your student, Kimber. Amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. The right, let's push forward. Fish is almost Got to explore ninety percent of rooms. So we should go straight up for this one. This should be a pretty easy, easy uh, clear, to be honest. I would think. Um, we got eighty percent here. Ah. My chances on these are so so bad. Chance on those are so so terrible. But yeah, we'll we'll, uh, we'll go ahead with these guys. And like I said, we don't have any direct healing, but I I genuinely think the power of these guys means we shouldn't really need it. We should be able to kill a lot of things before much sort of happens. But yeah, at this point, we're getting everyone leveled up pretty quickly. I think everyone's getting close to uh to that level three spot now, which is really nice. I'm not going to open that now because we only have two shovels. Oh, we have three, actually. We might be able to do that, but considering there's a shovel needed here already, not exactly Another the smartest of decisions. Another misfortune. Right, scouting again, lovely. Yeah, see, this is exactly why I look. Another shovel needed straight off the bat. We'd have no shovels left at this point. That would be terrible. Extra torch and thousand. Wow. I don't know how someone fit, fit a thousand gold in one of those, but I won't complain. Now, we are going to be a bit low on torchlight, I think, here. I think I've maybe underestimated the amount of torches I might need, but that's fine. Pack has a map inside. That's fantastic. So far, this has been a very calm dungeon. Ah, <laughs> oh, bugger. Damn it, I got syphilis. <laughs> Woman, why? Will find no clemency in this God place. damn it. 80% <laughs> twice in a row. Can't be having this. Oh, hello. What the hell are you? This guy's new. Okay. Stun chance is kind of low on this. I'm sure to go for it anyways. Got the stun, nice. And then... I guess I'll just blight you for now, yeah. Let's go for a post. Nice crit, Blaze. Wow, well done. Well done. Let's 
go for attacks on this big boy. I don't know what exactly he does, but I can't imagine it's friendly. I'm sure he's going to put up quite a fight in terms of the amount of uh, debuffs he throws at us. Minus accuracy there is really nice. Come on, Helen. You're, you'll, you'll be okay. I think this thing's going down pretty easily, actually. It looks scary, but we've managed to do a decent job of taking it out. I mean, it's dead already. Their Beautiful stuff. Broken. Maintain the offensive. A little bit of healing on myself. Why not? Yeah. Try and fish for a crit, but it didn't work out. Oh, a Jude Tapestry. Awesome. I was not expecting that, but very, very nice. At this point, we can use a shovel here because we know that we don't have any shovels needed left. Okay. That might just be the easiest mission ever. <laughs> I I'm going to continue adventuring just because of how easy that was and try and get a little bit more out of this. I just feel <laughs> bad for you guys, like, waiting for another mission. Like, oh, this is going to be cool. And then it's just, like, over without, like, having after having fight it for once. Impressive. Good crit. Good blight. Another nice one kill. Ah, oh, dodge. It's unfortunate. Really is unfortunate. But what, what we might have to do... I am slightly opposed to this idea, because I, I don't want to do this with, with other classes. But what we might have to do... And you guys let me know if you like this idea. We might have to bring on another antiquarian just to, to make some more money, to make sure we can afford stuff. Because normally in the game, obviously, that's kind of how you make your money, is going antiquarian runs. But we only have one, and obviously they're leveling up quickly. So maybe we bring on another just to sort of tide us over. I don't know who would want to do that story-wise or anything, but that could potentially be a solution if you guys are up for that. Obviously, it depends on when we, when we end up finding one as well. Got to remember that. Good damage there. I really like that Grave Grasp. Obviously, it does lower our own HP. Be gone, That's pretty good. Stun on both of those. Iron Swan to kill you. Awesome. And yeah, we haven't even needed our healing potions. I'm pretty sure this should, these just sell for the same price I bought them at. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think so. Good crit. Five over five. Very, very good. And a stun on you as well. Lovely. Awesome stuff. Of course you're going to go for a guy that's already weak, but it shouldn't matter. There you go. Lovely. Okay. Easy mission there. Very easy indeed. These guys just basically hopped out, got the job done, and went home. It's a little bit of money. Something there. And there you go. A bunch of people to level three. We're going to have to get rid of that disease, remember. Oh, we've got another one here as well. Uh, yeah, we'll get rid of the, the egg. Og? We'll get rid of that as well. Can you feel it? What quest? The Harvest the Moon. Between the Farmhands disappear, the cattle running off, and whispers from delirium. within the vast fields. Something's amiss. What quest? The Harvest Moon. Interesting. So first things first, just unequip. Do that. And... What was we going to do again? Oh, yeah. Pipolis. We'll increase the number of medical slots here just so we can get you in there as well. Good stuff. Okay, so first of all, let's check what the hell this quest is. Plant 
plot quest harvest moon. Where do I see where that is? Oh, the hallowed harvester. Is this it here? The harvest moon. Okay, it looks like that might be something we do next episode then. It is a level 3 mission. So we have to spend some money on upgrading people for it. But that could be interesting. A threat um, of... A threat to our dwindling food supply must be contained with the utmost gravity. Venture into the fields and bring peace to the peasantry. Interesting. Very interesting. We've got Golem Head here. Extra prop. Massive minus to uh, food consumption. A anything stress related, but you get a lot of less healing received. Kind of interesting. We've also got this here. It's kind of good too. Okay, I kind of like the idea of that. We also need to go for this at some point. We'll see when. Uh, but yeah, we've got quite a few more diary entries to get through, so let's just go over some of those now. Next one here is coming from uh, Savage Junkie, and this is the af After Hours in the Tavern. The, bar wipe uh, the barkeep wipes at the counter, grunting and scrubbing at the stains left um, by the bender of most the most recent celebration. Suddenly, he becomes aware that he's not alone. A figure sits at the far table. Eyes and teeth glow, uh, glowing a soft red beneath a hood, and arms bound in a straitjacket. Bars close, my friend. Not here to drink, just talking. Is that allowed? Suppose I could use the background noise. Background noise, he says. I used to be someone, you know. I was a lord, but she locked me away. She said I was sick. There's no respect anymore. My title does not fade with time. Sure, friend. And I was a mercenary. The bartender half jests nodding towards the wall where his old gear and some trophies are mounted, unfazed by Orwell's sudden change in attitude. She, let me, um, let me let you in on something, friend. Who you used to be doesn't matter anymore. That armor, these scars, they don't matter, because I ain't that person anymore. People look at me, they see a barkeep, not a contracted killer. People look at you, they see a drooling lunatic escape from the nut house, not a lord or anything. You want that respect back? Gotta act like you still deserve it. Now, if that's all, you best be going before I start working my, uh, my nerve. I gotta clean. Great stuff. And then followed by that, we have a, quite a few more. Uh, we have like three more. So I'll go, I'll just reel these off because they're all fantastic and all necessary for the story. Next one is from Rosa Arbalist, uh, surprisingly, by Blank Gaming. We've all heard of death of a thousand cuts, but certainly I'm experiencing death by a thousand annoyances. Rose, go do this. Rose, go shoot, shoot that. Rose, my cat is stuck on a tree. What the hell? I came here to plug, uh, pl plug, purge this place of its evil. Not do tedious work for the other adventurers that are too lazy to. Phew, feels good to spit out my venom. But now it's time for an actual log. The hag, siren and necromancer. Oh, sorry, the hag, siren and necromancer have been slayed, severely weakening the tides of the beast. It's not like they've vanished overnight. More so that I have to um, use less of my bolts on a regular basis. If my research um, on the mistakes of the old manor, manor's owner is correct, a huge chunk of the monster's flesh should be next on the chopping block. Maybe I'll finally be sent to do something. It's not like I'll be a, uh, it'll be a target I can miss. I'm still a bit ill. I'm honestly surprised it hasn't gone away on its own, nor killed me by now. Maybe I'll ask Kimber for some medicine. She's bound to have some. Finally, before I go uh, save another cat with a spooky glowing eye from, uh, eyes from a tree, I want to talk about one of the new guys. He calls himself the Guardian of Never, and nobody has any actual information on his name. Not even Miss Smarty Pants Bacilla. If anyone should know about this guy, it's her. From just his gaze, I feel chilly. That ain't normal. And from asking people who've quested with him, I've learnt that he fights like a, dra <laughs> a drag queen dances. Whatever that means. He hasn't done anything wrong or harmful yet, so I won't snoop further, but I've got my eyes on him. Amazing stuff. And then we have two more followed uh, from the last mission of the last uh, episode by Dr. Savage Junkie from Awali and then Viara. So from Awali, the curve. A series of caverns dug in the cliffside below the manor, populated by fishmen and other abominations, all vying for our throats. But still, I can't help but pity them. They cause us no trouble, keep to themselves, Defend their home and we venture in. Is it right to call them evil? Aren't we in the wrong? Beasts like the Siren certainly need to put down, but others? I'm conflicted. I suppose it doesn't matter to the others, but I've uh, seen enough life wasted. Wouldn't it be best to just leave them? Interesting. And then Viara here, who had a real crazy, 
crazy experience with the uh, the collector. I saw him, my husband, my Arlo, inside another one of those things, his face among the others, calling to me, asking me to save him. I froze, just like last time. Part of me thought about joining him there, just so we can be together again, but the others I was with, they were so strong and confident, they didn't falter when confronted by this apparition. They protected me and fought the vile spirit until it fell. It was admirable, but I couldn't help but feel ashamed. Why didn't I do more? All I could muster the strength was to wave my sensor around in a cower and cower. I should have done more. Not that they needed it. Maybe this place isn't so bad once we adjust to the quirks of its occupants. Maybe someday I'll even call them friends. Amazing stuff. The story that we're progressing with these people is it's just something else. It really is. But yeah, let me know what you, what you guys want to do about money. So the, basically at the minute, there's two options. Either we hope we get another antiquarian and bring them on. Actually, I didn't even have a look who we've got coming on. Ooh. Okay. We're going to take on the cook. I'm glad that I checked before the end of the episode here. We're definitely going to take on the cook here. The cook's a really, really cool healing class. Um, but anyways, I'll leave that there. But yeah, um, we can, we got two options. Either we get another antiquarian or hope one shows up and go that way. Or we do what I did in my last series where I enable a mod that makes it so that um, your end of quest money like is, is a bit higher than normal. It's like 1.5 times. Just because obviously we have a lot of classes to, um, to, to rank up and money is going to be tight. The only problem that creates is stuff like um, the trinkets, the cost of them becomes a bit skewed. 30% oh my lord that is incredible oh <laughs> some really good stuff here i can't afford them though at the moment anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and i'll see you guys in the next one